Australia's iconic Great Barrier Reef is located off the coastal waters of Queensland. The Great Barrier Reef is a World Heritage listed marine park and is home to an array of stunning marine life and diverse ecosystems. However, the health and conservation of the Great Barrier Reef is under threat. In particular, water quality is in decline. One of the greatest contributors to poor water quality is increasing levels of sediment. Sediment has a detrimental effect on the inner reef systems and on the marine life that rely on the health of the Great Barrier Reef to exist and thrive. Sediment can be described as being solid material that is transported through water that does not pass through a filter which contains 0.45 micrometer pores. Depending on the turbidity of the water, sediment either comes to rest on the ocean's floor or suspended throughout the water. Sediment can be made up from mud, sand or clay particles from terrestrial land runoff and the sediment particles may also contain traces of metals and pesticides. Sediment can be caused from activity on the land which causes erosion such as coastal development, land clearing, grazing and cropping. Or sediment can come from the practice of dredging in ports and harbours. Sediment becomes a problem on the Great Barrier Reef when it is transported by freshwater runoff from the source on land into the riverways and catchments that feed onto the Great Barrier Reef. Devlin and others explain that the problem is exacerbated during the wet season due to high levels of erosion due to flash flooding which swiftly carries a lot of sediment onto the Great Barrier Reef. Therefore, the inshore coastal reef which are close to the source of sediment are the most vulnerable. The Great Barrier Reef is resilient to a degree and can cope with a certain amount of sediment. However, researchers report that high levels of sediment can have a negative impact on the inshore Great Barrier Reef and its inhabitants. Increased sediment levels declines the water quality on the Great Barrier Reef, which has a direct impact on the coral by reducing the sunlight penetration, which leads to smothering the coral, as coral requires sunlight in order to photosynthesize. Increased sediment also contributes to a build-up of pollutants on the reef and attributes to higher algal growth, which leads to a reduced coral growth and ultimately less coral diversity. Therefore, sediment has a direct impact on the reef's fish environment by reducing their habitat, which reduces their settlement choices. Furthermore, Wenger and McCormack advise that reduced coral cover on the Great Barrier Reef caused by increasing sediment also reduces the fish's ability to forage for food, which in turn may lead to declining populations. Another study carried out by researchers from the Australian Research Council Centre of Excellence for Coral Reef Studies at James Cook University indicate that sediment can directly impact reef fish by causing increased congestion in their gills, which means the reef fish are under stress to breathe and may also lead up to a build-up of bacteria and increased disease which may cause fertilities. There is current government legislation in place to regulate the activities on and around the Great Barrier Reef along with several plans of action that sets out the short, medium and long-term strategies to manage and track sediment levels on the Great Barrier Reef. The current Reef Water Quality and Protection Plan 2013 involves the Australian and Queensland governments along with local communities and stakeholders. The plan aims to improve water quality and reduce sediment levels by increasing research, identifying and monitoring priority areas, gathering information on target levels, raising awareness on the issue through stewardship education and reducing catchment runoff by improving land management and agriculture practices. As the Great Barrier Reef ecosystems are all interconnected, the human race's actions on land can have a flow-on effect on the Great Barrier Reef, which ultimately can affect the coral reef systems and its marine inhabitants. It is paramount that sustainable land and water care practices are enacted to ensure that water pollution is reduced and acceptable sediment levels are achieved in order to conserve the natural beauty of the Great Barrier Reef. As the World Heritage listed area, the welfare of the Great Barrier Reef should be a significant conservation issue to all stakeholders.